Titanic gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here. Yeah, so it's been a couple days there's a reason. What you're seeing here sadly isn't going to last too long. Follow up to something I said in another video. I am moving, so if you get a little bit in between videos, that's why. I'm so sorry. Looks like everything's been pushed up a lot sooner. But hey, that's not why you tuned into this video. The reason you tuned into this, because this weird accessory... Is it something we even need? Is it just a waste of money? I believe it's a waste of money. So, it looks like Otterbox is jumping in the gaming game. What? Yeah, they're making accessories for the Xbox Series X slash S controller. And it'll also fit your uh, Xbox One controller. So, they've got these grip shells. You're probably seeing them right now. Um, yeah, they're coming in a couple different colors. Light gray, dark gray and purple with green piping, as it's called. This article comes from Engadget. Um, There's a lot of news I, I get comes from Engadget. They're, they're solid. So they're, they're showing a, a number of different um, of these hard shells that go around your controller. Is this really necessary? Um, the Xbox Series S slash X controllers already have these grips. Now, these controllers will not fit on the Elite controller, which, again, do you really need this? Um, I guess if you want to protect the outside, but at a, wait for it, $40 price point. Eesh, ee. Eee. No, 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 40, 40, shit, $20 more, and you get the freaking controller nah nah silicone ones you know the ones that go on the outside inexpensive ones like usually anywhere from five to ten dollars on amazon depending on how fancy they get but you don't need really more than that if you're going to do that maybe if you get the sweaty the the, the, the mud hands or sweaty hands and they can, i don't know but do you tend to drop your controllers maybe I don't know. But it looks like they're also coming out with something else. And this one's aimed pretty much solely at the mobile gamer. If you're going to be playing games on Game Pass, on your um, Galaxy or whatnot, or whatever, whatever phone you have. Um, yeah, it's a grip. It's a... Well, here, let me show you. So, yeah, as you can see, it's it connects to your, uh, your phone and your controller, holds it, and this thing's going to be also... Not, not, I shouldn't say also, but pretty expensive as well in the grand scheme of things. It's 30 bucks. Why? I get it. I, I get it. If you're bringing your controller with you and your phone and everything. I, I don't. I, I, to be honest, I've never seen the, the need for one of these. I get people who want to take their gaming on the go and actually have a controller. 30 bucks, I guess this is the cheap way out, but then again, you still have to have your phone, this grip, and your controller. That's a little cumbersome if you're if you're, you know, on the go. You'll be having a backpack. I honestly think those um those grips, I think they were put out by Razer, the ones that fit on the side, just onto your phone. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think those are <laughs> much better, but hey, those are around a hundred bucks, so I think the least expensive one I've seen was around seventy. But hey, if you want something cheap, you want to bring your controller that you already have with you, and yes, it works with an Xbox One or Series um, XS controller. I guess, I guess, but yeah, I mean, I just don't understand why this is a thing. Neither of these grips, shells, whatever you want to call it. I, 
honor box do you really need to be jumping into this game i guess you're trying to grab your little piece of the market because you know um xbox is bigger than it's been in quite some time especially with a uh the series x and s uh just constantly being sold out with uh, project x cloud and the uh, mobile gaming on your uh, on your galaxy or i think it's on apple i, I i'm not sure i don't mess with uh, iphones um, so I, I know they were doing a cross promotion with uh, Samsung at some AT and T stores where you could actually get Game Pass with, it. and that's kind of cool if you if that's what you're you're into. But just more money. I mean, just there are cheaper alternatives that do the same thing. You're really paying for the name, and. Honestly, I know people love OtterBox and their accessories, and I, I had one OtterBox case for a phone years ago because I got it for free. And they're solid, but the price is a little, a little much. Uh, you can get better quality, or I shouldn't say better because that's objective. Um, very good quality cases for a lot less if you just decide not to go with a you know super high end name brand. There's plenty of uh, cases out there for your phone, and the same goes for controllers. I bought, I want to say they were at five below, um, a pack of two silicone sleeves for PS4 and uh, Xbox One controllers. They go right on it, cover it, keep them from being slick or whatnot. Uh, a little protective when, if you do drop, because sometimes we know we drop the controller, some slide off the couch, whatever you put it down, whatnot. And it's two for five dollars, so that makes them the equivalent of two dollars and fifty cents a piece. Yes, those are for Xbox One and PS4. Yes, these also work for uh, the Series XS, but that's because they have that whole open faceplate. And the other ones don't, but you can find them. I, I don't really recommend going on Amazon because Amazon, you get a lot of junk. Um, check your local uh, game store. They might be able to order them for you or whatnot. Eh, or there's plenty of, there's plenty, plenty of small businesses uh, that you can see on Amazon or on uh, Amazon, oof, on Instagram or whatnot that are promoting uh, custom shells and uh, custom graphics and stuff. Um, uh, I, I guess you would call them skins or even the uh, uh, the, the silicone uh, grips that, you know, aren't going to cost you 40 bucks. But hey, if you want the um, that OtterBox name, I, I, I guess this is your thing. I don't know. I, I find it rather superfluous. Let's call it superfluous to have that on your controller. On my controllers, I do have one silicone sleeve on, on my Xbox 360 and one on one of my Xbox One controllers. I also don't like covering up the colors because I'm one of those people, I like having the fancy colors and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so uh, my Series X, I have the blue, white one. Now I do have a blue, uh, uh, a black one, a black one and a white one, but I don't know. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. maybe if I had one in my hand to really make a call but I'm not going to go out and buy a $40 shell sleeve thing I don't know you guys tell, tell me what you think do, do you think that's a bit ridiculous I mean yeah it's going to protect the sides or the handles of your controller but not the face I I don't know. I don't know. Tell, again, tell me what you guys think. Drop it in the comments below. While you're there, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe. See, it says subscribe. Hit that. But on below, that's just reminding you. See, it's it reminds you in the video. Got to poke it. There you go. Um, that's what she said. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Share this video. Uh, remember to hit that little bell for notifications. Head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Check us out there. Check us out on our socials. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And, like we always say, 
head on over to our Teespring. Link in the description. Buy yourself some shirts. Ah, I got you again. <laughs> but seriously, like we always say, be legendary. Thanks, Captain.